Right, so for the first tutorial we will look at the anatomy of uh, your flute here. So you can see that there are six holes and this totem which sits on the top of the flute. Now this totem creates the whistle and we'll have a look and inspect how it does that. So we can undo the strap here and remove the totem completely. And you can see underside there is this one hole here which comes from the slow air chamber where the mouthpiece is and a channel which runs into the true sound hole, this rectangular hole. The true sound hole is where the music is created, so if you would a microphone the flute, you'd have the microphone here, but not down at the foot of the flute. So we can put the totem back on. Before you play, make sure that you've tightened it up every time and adjusted the totem every time because it always moves around. So the totem sits flush with the first edge of the true sound hole. As you can see in the book, it indicates this very clearly that the chimney will sit up at the end of that channel at the beginning of that first little rectangular side. And you can hear also if I'm to move the totem too far forward or too far back that it won't sound. So there's a sweet spot. So we have the totem, the true sound hole, the foot, the mouthpiece and the six finger holes on your flute.